Damn, I ain't kicking on. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm gonna actually back that up a little bit. Do you mind if I back it up some, or you want to leave it out here? Uh, let me check the audio. Okay, check the audio. We'll leave it out here for now. Probably sounds better anyway. How y'all doing tonight? Kobe, Christina, Adam Miller, oddly enough, Nick right. Thomas. Let's see. I'm sure there's other that have scrolled on up. I saw Miss Lisa okay. was in here. Further back check. Further back check. I bet it sounds pretty good. I've been when I do my videos, I usually have it all the way out there, man. Yeah, but that game was killer earlier. I don't know what was going on with that because it's been coming through really clear. Anyway, we're just discussing what's going on with the mic here. As y'all know, we got all this set up, but we're still kind of trying to deal with it. So, um, anyway, what y'all vaping on tonight? No all way. the way back, check. How delayed are we here? Said so be back in a couple minutes. Had to fill each other's tanks. That sounds pretty accurate. <laughs> Oh yeah, that would have got plenty of audio. Aragon Hawker. This is a new person. I've seen this name before. Hi, Chuck. Anyway, y'all let us know. I know Aragon. Oh, you know who that is. Okay, sweet. Yep. That they was over here last week. That's right. Yeah, he's a. Uh, it's a complicated thing to describe, but he is a special friend of her best friend. Okay, sweet. That's probably as good an explanation as I needed to give. Do you agree? Merlot. Oh, I'll talk about that for a minute. Kobe Russell brought by, he's trying to, he's dabbling in do-it-yourself juices now. You know, he's trying to make him some stuff, and he brought by this, uh, he calls it Merlot, like Merlot wine. But I got to tell you, it tasted just like biting in a muscadine. I have never tasted a more accurate muscadine flavor. And it was just a juice. It was just a juice that Kobe was working on in his house. He's getting into do-it-yourself stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm sure he's going to give us the recipes. Yeah. Um, we can put it in Buddha Blue. I'll cut you in for <laughs> Anyway, a like I say, though, it tasted just it's like lovely. a ripe muscadine. It was nice. unbelievable. And he wasn't going for that, but oh. it was spot on, man. I wonder if it was like a muscadine flavor or... Because I've never seen a muscadine extract. That just doesn't seem like common He said it didn't... Enough. Yeah, he didn't have it... I'd, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Colby, you're on this here. He didn't, he didn't say he put any kind of muscadine flavor in it. Whatever he put in there... That's what it came out to. Well, he says a, Merlot, so. Yeah. He was going for a been, grape. Uh, it was like a, it wasn't quite, it wasn't a wine grape. It wasn't a dry wine. Because, you know, Merlot, Merlots in general are going to be a pretty dry red yeah, wine. I don't like it. It wasn't dry at all. Of, it was a really sweet, popping, ripe muscadine. And, you know, I'm sure he had us a sweetener or whatever. But um, and Pam's saying she's never found a muscadine yeah. extract. I've never you need to talk to Colby, Pam, because he has. He's he got a combo it. of stuff that he apparently has is. nailed it. it. Anyway, like I say, I don't know what y'all are vaping on tonight. What are you doing? You got man, some, I got oh, my that's old the strip down. Yeah, I got my old beat up. Uh, well, they can vapor shark. Yep, yep. DNA two hundred, and we're gonna talk about the software update that just came out for the DNA two hundred. So the that's, DNA two hundred or X two hundred. It's a the, the firmware update is DNA two hundred wide. So every DNA two hundred chip that applies that update will get the. Well, it's not a DNA it. update. There was RX Joytech update. Well. I understand, I I understand what you're saying, but that update or that firmware yeah. is it's DNA 200 specific. So anything with a DNA well, 200 what, will work with this firmware upgrade. The one, well, are we talking about two separate things? Because mm -hmm. I'm talking about the Wismic RX 200. Yeah, but what, you, what you're missing is that is an update to the DNA 200 chip. And all DNA 200 chips are the same. No matter if it's my DNA chip in this device. That's what I'm saying. It no. wasn't for the RX. It no. wasn't for the Wismic DNA. No. It was for the Joytech derived it's, RX. And it's, it's still the same? It's just evolved. It's just that firmware update for the DNA 200 chip. I guess I'm confused. How are you missing this? Well, because the RX 200 doesn't use a DNA chip. No, no, no. That. We're oh. talking about two different updates, aren't we? Are we talking? Are we talking We're about talking We're talking RX updates? with the 250 watt update. Maybe oh, that's where we were off earlier. Now it explains thinking, to me why we were not right on board with each other. Okay. Let me look that the up. The update that we're talking about that me and Jamie got off about earlier, he's been out all day and didn't, he wasn't with me when I updated all the RXs in the shop. This is the RX200 update I'm talking about right now that took it up to 250 watts on the RX, the Joytech derived chip. I see chip. what you're saying. Not, not so the I, evolved I, chip. I, no, it's not evolved. No, it wasn't an evolved chip. This came say. straight from Wismic as when they were using the Joytech chip, which is a DNA knockoff. We all know that there's a lawsuit, yada, yada, yada. But it took the RX200 up to 250 watts. It also, let me rephrase that. 
250 watts if you're using a .33 or below. I don't remember exactly. Um, but this was for the RX, not the DNA, just to be clear about that. Mm, Looking here. a little juice here. All right. Well, so oh, what I'm vaping, the chat, I'm, we'll go back to what I'm vaping. I'm going to kick back to chat here. So I am vaping Vapor Shark DNA 200, running it at 72 watts. And, you know, I reviewed this this tank and I gave it some glaring reviews like wonderful reviews but I've had some problems with it and this is that new uh, Reaper tank the iJoy Reaper tank there's a there's like there seems to be a quality control issue or something because the top keeps separating from it and it's kind of a really? weird thing yeah it's a really well, really weird thing or what? Well, yeah that you see where the chimney runs up yep. and it connects to the top there it's like it just breaks loose huh and you actually have to like hit it to jam it back up in there. That's got to be a real pain right But, there. of course, I'm slap hooked like crack on this cream and cookies from Royal Vapory. Um, <laughs> I vaped help. 100 mils last week. I have another 100 mils came in yesterday. They're actually out of a three, so I had to nick it myself. Uh, um, what, what, when you nick it yourself, would you do a one and a half or you'd still do a three? What you uh, go to? Well, I still, even though it's a 120, I still put three milliliters of okay. 100. So, so that would make like out to like 2.7, 2.6. 8, something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. If you will, click back over the chat. I want to see what everybody else is kind of vaping on tonight. Kind of, oh, I'm missing it here. Um, oh, got two screens going yeah, here. Oh, I'm you killed just, it, man. No, nah, let's get it back up. He killed y'all. He doesn't like you. Uh, I'm actually working with a DX200 tonight. Uh, this is one Pam was here earlier, did a kind of a quick look Freaking on it. Neat device. It's, yeah, it is. It's about the right size. And I got to tell you, um, I'm going to get into this in just a minute. I'm going to tell you all something that almost happened to this device. I thought it happened to it. Uh, ended up not being a big deal. But I am going to talk with you all about something that can cause some real problems. It caused, another, it caused a problem with another device I had. Yep. Um, and it's a real you easy lucky. mistake to make. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised I didn't burn up the, the charge board in this thing. Um, and actually, it shut down for a while. I actually thought it was burnt up, and then all of a sudden it started charging again. Um, so we're going to get back on the chat real quick and see what y'all are vaping on, and we'll kind of talk about that. So we're there. Colby's on his RX250. I think we upgraded, like, I think I counted 34 that we upgraded, including our stock, what people brought in. I'll tell you what, man. I love that fucking device. I absolutely love it. I've got a reverse stormtrooper. That's a black one. You're talking about the RX, right? Yeah, the okay. RX. I've only got the single DNA, the just all gray one. But I I picked up two new ones last week because of the two new cover, colors, the black and red. Yeah. So bitching. And oh, then the solid white. Those black so and red bitchin'. ones are getting hard to come by right now, even at wholesalers. They're selling like hotcakes. I see Pounds vaping the So Jelly. Um, got that right here. Uh, Chuck's vaping the. Just uh, lost to the Fuchai. Um, all kind of stuff. Uh, last, and I'll go ahead and talk about this real quick. Um, if any of you have Lotus products, in particular the Jellyfish, and that, that's the only one I know of that uses this charger, but you'll know this if you've tried to charge it with any other charger, any droid style charger, it won't charge the Jellyfish. Because it's a 9 volt charger that goes in the Jellyfish, and most typically, most phones and everything else use a five volt charging mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. so if you plug that jellyfish charger into something it's going to give it nine volts now i've burned up another mod like that in the past that i on board charging about accidentally sticking that in there well this afternoon and i know better i went to the house and lisa was charging her jellyfish in the kitchen and we usually we have a phone charger there yeah so i didn't even look i just grabbed a cord plugged it into it and i walked back by and i was like why isn't this thing charging the screen was on and when this charges of course the screen stays on picked it up <coughs> i was like my god i pulled it out real quick mm -hmm. went and got the right charger for it wouldn't, wouldn't charge. charge wouldn't charge for hours and finally i got to the shop a while ago i said well it just for shits and giggles i plugged it into the charger bam i started charging again the power came back to it but in the meantime you would went out and purchased me an extra battery yep. and external charger so i actually got that coming but that's you know but that's good like is the big inconvenience like on this especially with the three cell 900 milliamp hours is if I'm vaping 120, 130 watts, I can blow through this thing in two hours. Oh, no doubt, no doubt. Easy. Yeah. Can, now, 200 watts, that's not even 30 minutes of vaping. Oh, yeah. You're, so, you're really taxing a battery yeah. 200 watts. So, you know, the fact that you have a DNA 200 chip yep. and you can buy, you know, an extra battery and that RC charging station yep. and, and have the same convenience of a user serviceable battery with this chip is phenomenal. This battery really isn't bad in temp control mode, what I'll run it at. And that's the reason I got this device. I didn't get it to run in wattage mode. I specifically wanted a plain, simple box that did a good job in temperature control. And 
had a lipo battery and right. i really wanted that so with a 900 mile battery it gets me about half a day no problem and i'm sure you get a normal person a day right and, no and to sweat. clarify the 900 milliamp hour thing you know this one and adams has the same battery in it i'll show it to you guys. it's just encased on mine so you wouldn't see much so adams this is the battery that actually the 900 mile batter battery that evolve recommends you three cell lipo battery right so there's three 900 milliamp hour cells in here which are capable of making just under 12 volts right and the reason they had to do that is for example if you have like a dual 18650 Reload with a DNA 200 133 or watt or a um, DNA. right the mad modder stuff Yep. It, it's only capable of 8.4 volts yep. and 8.4 volts won't get to where you got to get to in order to accomplish the 200, exactly. 200 watts exactly. now 250 watts is interesting because that i think that's more than 11.4 volts it's only and if y'all read all that um Wismic actually put out a, a, a lengthy disclaimer saying that 250 watts would only work in a particular resistance range from point oh. 0.1 to point 0.32 i think it was right. i had to go back and look uh, it'd give you two I think it was 220 up to 0.37 in between that range. And then past 37, obviously, you start going down. You get up to 0 0.5, 0 0.6, you even don't get 200 watts. Kind of got to click the bottom out at the same time. Got to pull it. Nope. I got you. <laughs> you know, but the convenience of this, because they sell actually a charger station for this battery, again, it adds user serviceability to this instead of like me. You know, even though it only takes 40 minutes to fast charge this dude to full charge. Yeah. Just to go fucking go get a new battery. I will For say DNA this one. This, this one took one. me a while to charge. I will say that when I first got it today, it only had about a quarter charge, and I knew that one would last long. Well, and it took down near three hours to charge this thing. The reason the Vapor Sharks are cost two hundred dollars, and what they do is the extra stuff they add. Like you know, you can even do wireless charging with these dudes. So they add some extra shit to it. And fast charging must be one wireless of those Wireless charging. Yeah. yeah you, you can actually, like, just standard QI wireless charging. That's pretty cool. Absolutely. Just, I'm literally, my wife has a 40 watt one. You just fucking lay that dude on top of a QI charger and it'll charge. Now, it doesn't fast charge that way. It just does standard, like, one so point. I'm going to switch gears on you real quick. Other than your, your cookie vape you've been talking about, yep. have you discovered anything else this week? You've been working uh, on Canel. anything else? You've been, Canel still back Yeah, there? I mean, you know, Canel is my bread and butter. It's, it's... God, when I made that fucking juice, it, it literally, like, I mean, I got, you guys got to really understand this. I've been vaping for five years, and I have never, up until in the last two months, found a juice that I loved. A juice really? that I could vape every day, that I would vape every day. And that's why, like, you saw on my desk, I've got 15, oh God, 20 yeah, fucking yeah. tanks there. But it's because I would have a vendor send me their entire line. I vape all of it on different tanks, not love any of it, like one or two of them. But liking one or two of them never got me even through a full bottle. Really? Right? So, I mean, I would come to a vape shop like when I came in here that day, the first day I met you, and I bought fucking old 12 bottles yep. of juice. Just hunting you know, for how something, many, huh? How many people come in and buy 12 it's bottles rare. of juice? It's rare. It's rare. And again, it's because I never could find something I loved that I could vape all day. It was a little of this, a little of that, you know, a tank here, a tank there, a drip here, a drip there, but never just, that's my juice. Yeah. And when I make canel, I mean, even butter cake, as much, I've been making that for my wife and for me for, I know, four years. I love that juice, but I don't love it enough to vape it more than half a tank. Really? I'm yeah. shocked at that, man. But canel, I mean, after my sugar drizzle. What is it that does it for you? For canel, is it a sweetness, a little bit of cinnamon in it? What, what does it for you? What hooks you to well, it? Well, it's everything that I didn't like about sugar drizzle. Sugar Drizzle was the first juice I came to that I even was close to. I hope to Mike Zombro isn't on here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it was the first thing that was even close to an all day vape. I could actually vape a tank or two of it, but it was too sweet. It's like the cinnamon notes weren't pronounced enough, and I got Vapor's Tongue on it super quick. Really? Yeah, super quick. So when I went about making Canel, I wanted to do something kind of like Sugar Drizzle. But, would, and, but resolve all the problems that I had with it that kept me from wanting to vape it all the time. And after doing that, I mean, Canel become my juice until the other well, day. We talked about Canel. We're actually going to give a bottle this way tonight. Big I'm going to pull this out of stock. 120 mils of Canel and three milliliters. Uh, three milligrams, three I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, we'll be asking a question here in a little while. It's be kind of first person that gives the right answer on the chat. Although we'll I don't get know what this. that question is yet. Um, we're going to figure that out as we go. Um, and I'm going to talk about this juice for just for a minute. This is... This was 
I'm, I, Mississippi was the first juice I perfected. The first juice I started making was Nomadic Winds. Mm -hmm. um, I was looking for something that I'd tried a lemon cheesecake from Not a Clone. I kind of mm -hmm. went down that road and didn't go too far. Um, and actually, this was the first juice that we really ever made per se, but I, I didn't perfect it till well after Mississippi was done. That's why it's I was called Mississippi one the line. first one. Really, really. I it is, it. Yeah, it, um, I'm gonna be honest, Adam. I don't love your juice, and I don't mean that, that in a critical fine, way. No, no, it's no, just no. you know, but you know that's kind of how it is with juice. It's all subjective. If I like a juice, that's an automatic proof that my wife hates it. <laughs> I hear you. If my wife loves a juice. You can't stand it. I would have to change a coil. That's very to similar to me and Lisa as well. So anyway, you know, on the lines, even on both the lines, I don't really like or love any of them, but that's the one that I like the most. What do you like about? Let me tell you what it is first. Tell the viewers what it is. So some of you probably hadn't tried Nomadic when it's not one of our more popular flavors. Why don't you give your description and I'll tell you what I was shooting for. I'm trying to remember what that person who came in here the other day was looking for. Monster energy drink. Yeah, he was looking not. for an energy drink. And I've, I have remembered vape. I don't remember what it tastes like, actually. But I did. I had to wonder, how the hell did they get monster energy drink I, out of this? I was the same way. Because it's not, wasn't even freaking close. Um, as far as me trying to describe the flavor, I couldn't because I haven't vaped it enough. I just know when I did vape it to see if it tastes like monster energy drink, I was like, this is really, really good. But it's but not, not fucking that, energy exactly. drink. So yeah, it's I don't know, man. It's got that little bit of lemon lime in it. I, I think maybe it's what they were equating to it, right. but it, it's got a sweetness as unlike an energy drink to me anyway. Maybe I'm off base here. Um, primarily, I was making that juice to have, at the time, I'd only tried a few juices that had a, a different inhale than exhale. Yeah. And, and that's what I was going for with that juice. And finally, I feel like a perfect, it does to me, but everybody's taste buds are different. To me, that juice has got a kind of lemon lime inhale and just this slight, soft raspberry exhale that leaves you with a pretty clean palate. Yeah, um, I, would, I, remember, I remember it was very palate cleansing. Like if I was to get Vapor's Tongue, that would be a really good juice for, to go to, to kind of reset things. Okay, so um, having, having said that, we're gonna give a bottle of this away tonight. Um, hope somebody gets to try it that hadn't tried it already. Um, I gotta tell you, you always, you never know how a juice is gonna do. This is one of those juices I thought was gonna be a phenomenal hit. I didn't think Mississippi would go over that well because of how thick a custard it is and how mm -hmm. buttery it is, and I like it. It ended up being our best seller. By and Nomadic Winds, shot. yeah, Nomadic Winds, although it sells enough to keep making it, it's not as huge a seller as I thought it would be. I mean, maybe that'll change in the summertime, who knows. But anyway, we're gonna send a bottle of this out for somebody to try. Um, tastes like Tropical Christina, yeah, Christina's tried a tropical babe, good summer refreshing. Yeah, it was, so. it was try, I remember it was fruity. I remember the fruitiness of it. So, anyway, and then another thing, we're gonna give, we're gonna give two shirts away tonight. Um, these are our new shirts, obviously, in the front of them because we're sitting here. I think I showed this right up front. Those of y'all that wasn't on here, uh, we kind of did a new back to our shirt. I'm pretty proud of these, man. I really um, like the kind of the compass pretty hard, thing. Yeah. Looks um, really nice. And I know this wouldn't be trouble for a guy like you to do, but that's that's about the extent of my design right there. So if we do something phenomenal. different, I'm going to have to get somebody to help with it. It's a phenomenal shirt. And, you know, I, I was wondering, I asked Adam, I said, kind of how do they fit or how do they cut? And I've lost quite a bit of weight. And I it, like a 2X shirt is, I'm between a 2 and a 1. And you said that, that you thought they were cut like well, affliction shirts. Uh, the, the reason I said that, the sleeves always fit tight right. in these shirts the like an affliction shirt. And I always say go up a size in these when you so, get them. So being worried about that, I actually bought a three thinking that you know there's no way a two is going to fit because afflictions are cut really small. Yeah. But no, if you're in a two, if you're in an extra large, the, the, the torso is cut yeah, right. The torso the is right. It's just going to make you... Yeah. I hate having a shirt that's just like feeling like the state trooper look, yeah. you know, like I'm trying to squeeze something that ain't there. So I guess that's my hang up with it. But anyway, but the, I digress. the arms are tight, but you know, whatever size you wear, it's pretty normal cut for it. So they're going to be up on the website or are they there yet? They're already on the website. Nice. Yeah. We actually had a lot of pre-orders. I think Lisa sent out, I'm going to say somewhere between 12 and 20 yesterday. I don't mm -hmm. remember exactly, but, um, it's a really nice shirt. It's like it's really thin. Yeah, it's a next level tribe blend. So it's not gonna shrink when you get yeah. it. That's a good thing about it. You can wash it in hot water. It's not gonna shrink. But yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm giving a sales pitch now. Yeah, um, you're not trying to sell the shirts. It's just a nice fucking shirt. I mean, yeah. it's nice and thin and really good material. I mean, I really like the shirt. And I'm 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 not in any way invested on whether it sells fucking one or nine hundred. <laughs> you. you know, it really is a nice. You shirt. know, shirts are never hard to sell, dude. It's yeah. just it takes a huge commitment up front when you buy 150 shirts. You know, so. Um, what else? Um, we're going to give away a, a black RX. I'm sure all of you are familiar with the RX. Mm -hmm. And to go with it, just make sure you get a tape. We're going to give away separate. a Lotus with Mini. Um, so 
let's talk about a few things here. Um, I'll tell you what. You want to try to get David Slay yeah, on the phone let's here get in a David second? On. We're going to bring David Slay in from uh, Birmingham. Um, obviously, nice. very backwoods, uh, very Alabama fanish, yeah. which it hurts me in Loves my heart. Loves vanilla ice. Loves vanilla ice and MC Hammer. Yep. He is too legit to quit, as his mod says. Mm -hmm. um, and not picking on David right now, he actually lives out in a rural area, and he's got – Hughes nets, so yep. he's not gonna be able to join us on video tonight, unfortunately. Well, we we, we might try it, see, depending on how the connection is. Okay, well, I'll, I'll try anything one or ten times. Stick um, that in your ear. We're gonna figure this shit out this week. Yeah, we're gonna just get an extension and pull over oh, here for me and it. drill it right in the desk right here. Let's try again. Um, I guess David didn't want to talk to us. Well, he was prick, a, huh? There he is. Well, he's a little person there. Can you hear us? Good deal. Wonderful. Good let me let me check chat here. Can you guys hear David? David, go ahead and say a few things. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing real well. Man, it's good so. to have you on the show tonight, David. Um, I'm sure chat. most everybody knows David Slay. That's uh, that's on our Facebook page. Is always constantly posting. Um, he loves old school rap, slow walks on the beach, and dogs with manes. I hear you. No, no hearing David. So give me just a second. Let me try to sort this out. Okay. Well, David, bear with us just a second, man. Um, How about for some that? reason we're not getting you on here. All right. So I think we should now. I had something muted. Okay. Good deal. Uh, let's see what we got. We're not getting any reverb. I hope. Anyway. So somebody yeah, type um, blueberry pancakes if you can hear David now. David, say <laughs> What's something. What's up with the blueberry pancakes? You hear me now. All right. I'll explain that story. <laughs> You're gonna have tonight. to because I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Nick, what's up? We want to know Thanks, about Nick. the pancakes. We do. We do have audio now. I think from Nick Thomas. So. Well, I'll tell you what, David. One of the main things we want to do is get some people on a show that 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 other people on Facebook and on Vaporized Nomads kind of know by face and by name, but of course a lot of people don't know how you got into vaping, David, so why don't you tell us a little bit about that real quick. How long you been vaping, what got you into it, and uh, what was the ultimate goal, and where are you at? Okay. Um, well, let's see. February 23rd of this past year was actually my one-year anniversary of, uh, of being smoke-free. Uh, and Thomas should love this. I actually got my first vape from a head shop. Oh, really? Yeah. That's <laughs> and this was in, where was this at? Because I know you just moved back to Birmingham, right? Yep, that was in uh, Shreveport, Bossier. Okay. And, um, and it was actually a very nice vape shop that just happened to sell glass you know, with vape stuff. And uh, very knowledgeable folks. They so got some head shops it. do it right then? Yep, some do it right. You know, they sold the Kratom, sold everything except tobacco products. Kratom, oh, yeah. So, yeah, it was a, uh, like I said, it was strictly to quit smoking for the kids. Um, you know, me and my wife both tried it. She's still uh, still struggling. How, how, fact, how old are your kids, David? Uh, nine and ten. Nice. They will be ten and eleven uh, this month and next month. Well, I'll tell you, when I first started, David, I never thought that this would become a hobby, much less the obsession that it turned into for me. Were, were you the same way? I mean, I'm assuming you didn't start off thinking this is going to end up being a hobby of mine. No, by no means necessary. I, uh, I started off with a little Vamo 12 watt. With uh, That was good uh, back then. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Um, with a little Atlas, not Atlas, but uh, Aspire Nautilus tank oh, and... Yeah. Uh, then uh, about two months later, I got an IPV 70 watt, and it's been uh, draining my wallet ever since. <laughs> oh, here you, brother. I mean, you've made a few of my truck payments, no doubt about that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and like I said, my wife has been struggling a little bit more. Um, you know, she still smokes. As a matter of fact, I had to go buy her a pack while I go. But, uh, I'll tell you what, man, and that's not, you know, I'll mention it on here. I'm sure Lisa wouldn't be embarrassed by it. Um, you know, as, as fast as I picked up vaping and got into it, Lisa enjoys vaping, and, and she's got more into it. Let me not be wrong about that. She's the where she smokes on average one to two cigarettes a day, but she's just had a lot harder time kicking the cigarettes well, than I did. And, yeah, I, and there's some people are just going to be like that. Um, she loves vaping. She's gone from smoking a pack, pack and a half to one to two a day on average which is great and and you know if that's as far as she ever gets i'm happy with it I'll, right that's I'll, kind of the same with mine i mean she's maybe a pack every two to three days uh to where it was a pack and a half a day so I, it's definitely helped her and um and the new little cubist tank has i think that's made a, a pretty good little difference as well yeah well i've i've got you know I've, I've got this opinion about smoking and vaping um and 
a lot of vapors are, are kind of part of this camp of all or none right so you're either right. a vapor or you're a smoker and if you have a cigarette or two cigarettes or even a half a pack of cigarettes you're not a vapor it's like you're you're lesser because you still have a cigarette every once in a while and, you know but i used to smoke three packs a day three yep. fucking packs of Pall malls a day i mean how wow. quickly was that killing me now you know at this stage in my kind of the vaping thing you know i was a hundred percent off cigarettes for three years my grandmother passed away, life kind of came in, that's when I kind of fell away from vaping and reviewing, and I went back to smoking. I actually worked my way back up to two packs a day, and now, you know, if I have a, a, maybe one or two cigarettes over the course of a couple of days, that's still a fucking victory. That's still a huge victory. Uh, if Definitely. You, if, you, if you cut, it's like anything else, man, if you were, let's say you're severely overweight, if you mm -hmm. cut your weight by 50% of your target, are you not still getting there? You know what I mean? That's I really have a real problem with right. people that condemn people that, that, that don't get away from smoking as fast as other you people know, And do. that campiness, I mean, that either smoker or vapor, you can't at all be both thing, that caused a hell of a rift between me and a really high up, you know, well-known person in the vaping really industry. Right there, not going to say who, but, uh, you know, it's just a no. ridiculous thing. No, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, some people have different personalities. Some people's addictive side, addict, yeah, addictive side, just it takes a lot more to overcome. And, you know, like you said, I mean, just because somebody has a cigarette here and there or, you know, two or three a day, two or three every other day, whatever, it doesn't make them need help any less. It doesn't make them any less of a person. I mean, it's, exactly. it, everybody's trying to get to the same do. goal. Well, tell me this. So you were in Louisiana yes. for a while. You moved back to Birmingham. Um, as far as like the the shops, the availability of things that are you know brick and mortar style things, obviously you can get anything online. But um, did it get better? Did it get worse? Where's Where's the Birmingham area? You know, as far as good shops and what you can find. Over Vaping there. community, community as no. a whole. Is there a community? There's a small. I mean, the app over here is is second to none. Uh, the Breathe Either Society of Alabama is I mean I, I think they're head and shoulders above probably 70 to 80 percent of the other states out right now um, the shops over here here's a different story um, you know there's one or two shops that you would want to be seen in that actually have any knowledge that are decent and sell decent products to where you know Louisiana the advocacy kind of fell off a little bit but you know they had some very nice shops um, you know some shops only carried authentic stuff um, over here it's a lot more shops with a bunch of and I, I don't say this negatively but I mean it's a bunch of kids that's working or that have no clue what they're doing and what they're selling yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm hearing you say you can find some decent yeah. places over there around the Birmingham area yeah there's there's two shops that are are great uh, and they're very they're probably about 30 miles apart but um they're um they're good shops and like i said there's i've probably been in 30 <coughs> shops since i've been back and like i said two of them are actually worth spending your money in well, on nice. the plus side we ship fast and you're not that far away from plus right exactly <laughs> i usually get it in two days <laughs> i hear you brother you know, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's really sad to hear that in an area like birmingham you've only got a couple of shops that aren't like crazy price yeah, i figured gouging, that would know? be i figured birmingham would be kind of a hot spot a I lot think of people it would have to be enough competition that you'd have price wars and stuff you yeah, know and yeah. get stuff cheaper and cheaper so that seems well, a little strange the shops here that do the best uh one i'm bama vapors and they're you know they're not the cheapest but definitely one of the nicest shops, and they definitely have the best selection in, in Birmingham. Knowledgeable the, people, do yeah. Knowledgeable people. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is actually on the board of the Breathe Easy Society here. Um, you know, they're big into the advocacy, advocacy scene, and, you know, they sell, you know, a good selection of, you know, clones versus authentic stuff. Yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with that. I think, uh, I will say, you know, I was watching a Twisted 420 video the other day. He was talking about why he doesn't compare clones and authentics anymore he was saying it just doesn't make sense anymore because there's so many affordable authentics out there Absolutely. having said right. that you're still gonna have products that are cloned and we, we all got our thing you know what i mean if you, if you want to buy authentic buy authentic if you don't and, something different and to another, <laughs> yeah, yeah buy what you can afford and what works and to another point something you brought up about vape shops and just having a bunch of kids working in there i think it's it's actually hurting the industry making it that kind of you know skater 
counterculture type environment. And I think that's exactly. dangerous to vaping. Well, at the same thing, I'm, I'm going to play devil's advocate on it mm-hmm. just a little bit because um, especially some of the smaller retail shops that need somebody to work on it's going to be difficult for them to afford you know, somebody that's older. I mean, it's almost like yeah. you look at my kind of starting off job. Um, yeah, so but I'm I just, just... I'm playing devil's yeah, advocate. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I get I mean, that. You see that I have... The people I have here older and mature and I believe in hiring yeah, that but, kind of people but. but take an official walking into a vape shop that's just got a 19 year old kid and all of his fucking oh, grungy friends hanging out in the shop and shit what, is got, that, what does that point. look like to the you industry I think point. it's dangerous you got a point right so. it it, it kind of helps everybody else build that stereotype against the vaping community that's fucking well, David, I gotta know something, man. I know JC sent you a sample of some juice the other day. What's yeah, it called? Yeah, uh, it's called mm-hmm. Cream and Cookies Royal Vapor. Is it as good as JC has been raving about? It is good. It's definitely the best cookie flavor that I've had. Mm-hmm. But once I added the uh, butter cake to it, it was off the chart. So you actually mix the butter oh, yeah. cake? It mi- oh, yeah. it mixes yeah, the butter cake like. Oh, I added boy. about probably about twenty-five mils of butter cake to what he sent me, and it is. I, it's it's off the chart. Real quick, so other people try. It's not something we sell. Company no, no. and flavor. It's uh, Royal Vapory, or it's Royale. There's an E at the end. Royale Vapory. Uh, Very prestigious. Cream and cookies, okay. and it's high. I mean, they only so sell hundred mil bottles. What is it made bottles. to taste like? If you just read it's, the description it on the website, it says it's uh, like two chocolate chip cookies with vanilla ice cream in the middle. Well, that sounds delicious. Now I don't get the vanilla ice cream. I don't get that at all. But what I do get, and it's something that's so unique to this juice is when I vape it, at, at, after the vape is over, in the back of my throat, I can literally still taste chocolate chip cookies. Yep. The chocolate chips specifically. Yep, like, you still get that chocolate taste on, the, on your tongue. It's not a chocolate vape. In no way is it a chocolate vape. It legitimately just get is the little chip a in it. fucking chocolate chip cookie. Yep. Chip specifically. That's crazy. It's chocolate so hard to control it's in the only thing liquid. I've I'm ever sure Pound close. may comment on this. Chocolate is, is that a pretty accurate description in your mind, David? Yeah, yeah, pretty accurate, pretty dead on. He's just not going to argue with you. That's well, the problem. Because I, 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 I vaped enough of <laughs> I'm it. Messing I with know you. what that shit tastes like. <laughs> okay, but, I'll yeah, tell you what. But, let's, I'm going to do this real quick before we get too much further. Um, since you like the juice. Wait a minute, one last thing. Okay, go ahead. Um, it only comes in 100-mil bottles. Uh, it's 45 bucks, and shipping is free, and they get it to you fucking quick. Like, literally, I don't know how it's possible. I ordered a bottle on Thursday afternoon. I had it by Friday afternoon. Okay, and this free is shipping. cookies and cream. And for a bottle of Canel, first person that tells us what company makes it, um, we just mentioned it a second ago. First person to answer that question, you get 120 mils of Canel and a three. You have to pull the chat back up. Who answers first? Well, chat ain't going to go nowhere. Hang on a minute. There's chat. There we go. First person. Or, there we go. Pop it oh, out. Good you deal. got that. Yeah, first person to tell us the company is made by. Congratulations. Nobody has it yet. Oh, she was Whoa. close. She was close. Okay, Corey Evans. Let's take it a step further. Who uh, who, who owns Buddha Blue? Well, not Canel. I wasn't asking who makes Canel. I was asking who made the cookies and cream. Oh, well, the then juice the, y'all were talking he, about. Well, then that is Adam Miller. Well, he says the Royals. Uh, well, well, Are we going to give it to Yeah, give it to Who's him. Who's at least listening? We'll yeah. give it to you, Adam Miller. You got it. It was I'm actually Royale Vapory. Royale. Yeah. Royale Vapory. But we'll go with that. Adam if Miller. I knew it was going to take that long, I would have I would have topped it in. I hope Lisa's watching so she can write this down. Hey, make sure you can you write Adam Miller on that? Not me, Adam Miller. The other Adam Miller, who is the exact out same west. age and has almost the same anniversary date as me, which is weird. But anyway. I want to I find the link to where I buy it from that gets it so damn quick. So while I do that, you do something else. Well, I'm going to talk about a juice right now. Um, David, have you ever tried a Kato's Revenge line? I have not. Um, I think uh, I've tried one of their fruitier ones that uh, Debbie sent me, and I can't I remember had the name too. I had it. tried one of their fruitier ones. Wasn't a fan That's of it. Right. Um, yeah, I and wasn't then either. Joseph Kato sent me some of their new stuff. And I, we did a video on this the other day, or I did, uh, talking about Kato's Revenge when I first got it. It's like their original bourbon custard. It's barrel-aged. Jamie, I know you don't like this, uh, yeah, but you but smell it. But that was the it. one that I thought was the uh, best in the line. Phenomenal. It smells amazing. Phenomenal. And I, I got to tell you, and I usually won't say this because I don't like comparing juice or other companies, mm-hmm. this destroys Castle Long Reserve. Hands down. Wow. There is no contest. And this is about $8 a bottle cheaper. 
or actually more than that because what's Castle Long Reserve? What is it, 32 no So it's like I, 12 I bucks shit. a bottle cheaper. Um, it is, but says Barrel Age Reserve. When I say this is on point for me, yeah, oh yeah, this is one of the top five vapes I've ever had since I've started vaping. It, it is easily in my top five. They had another one that was a Kahlua. That's bro. worth trying. If yeah, y'all yeah, speaking of Castle so long have y'all seen five ponds new line that they've just released yeah the, the, the lower price we actually tried it yeah. here david and and once again i want to beat on any company it just didn't bring a lot to the table for me um they wow. had a they had a boston uh cream i think it was I boston just, cream cake or boston cream pie that was in there that was a good mm -hmm. vape My it just God. didn't bring anything stellar to the table like what i would expect from five ponds um which is, is unfortunate i was glad they were getting down the range of you know where other juices are at, but at the same time, I guess because they're five pawns, you really expect some of the special out of that juice. My, my five, right. My five point pawns boycott continues. <laughs> it's three. Year, it's three years running, and and nothing has happened for me to care to change it. So yeah, I was else? kind of excited about that, and uh, you know, especially being from five pawns, I was looking forward to trying it, especially the Boston cream pie one. That was the one my my eye was twinkling over. Well, like I say, David, it, it was a good vape. Have you tried it before? Uh, no, I haven't. I haven't. Um, I'd say try it. Um, for me, it was a little, like I talked about a minute ago when Jamie was talking about mm -hmm. the chocolate chips, it's so easy to overdo chocolate, and uh, I think they went easy. just a little too far with it, and the, the chocolate really kind of mutes the other flavors in that juice for me. Now, maybe it needed to steep longer. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's the temperature I was vaping it on. I don't know, because all those things are certainly factors. But for me, it just had a little too much chocolate in it. It's just not my style of juice. Yeah. Well, yeah, overpowering chocolate doesn't, doesn't work. Well, David, uh, if you want to hang out with us for the rest of the show and kind of chime in whenever you like, yeah, we're going to move on to a couple of other things, and you just hang out with us if you want. Okay. Like I said, I'm standing outside on one leg right now to get reception, so uh, I think I'm going to go back in and chat. Through the uh, through the chat line, if you guys don't mind. Sounds well, David, great, it's been a pleasure, brother. We appreciate you being here tonight, and appreciate everything you do for us, and, and just supporting us in general, man. Hey, no problem. I appreciate appreciate y'all uh, y'all having me on. All right, David. Well, we will invite you again here in the next few weeks. We've got a special guest coming in two weeks. Yeah, well, let's not. All right. Are we gonna mention it? Yeah, I'm gonna mention it. Throw it out there. Be good, David. <laughs> So uh, I reached out. I've got a lot of old friends in the vaping industry. Old, old friends. friends. Oh well, not old people, but old friends. Like and uh, I reached out to my good buddy Nick, that you guys know as Grim Green. Very cool individual. And I invited him out to the show to come out here uh, three Thursdays, so that'd be two two down. Um, so what would what, that date be? Oh, uh, you know, it'll be the uh, 28th. That'll be the 28th. So. 28th and Nick's going to announce it out on his 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 Facebook page. We're going to try to talk a little bit about the MSVAA and Nick being on the show will bring a lot of exposure to that oh, cuz no a doubt. lot of no people doubt, yeah. the show the entire show is not advocacy. You know, Nick's not actually coming to talk about that group. He's just coming to help kind of lend his name towards that yep. group and the exposure that'll bring will be huge that night. So don't miss the 28th Grim Green yep. Nomad show. Gonna I'll be talk about one more thing. Um, next weekend is next Saturday, mm -hmm. not this Saturday. Next Saturday, which will be the fifteenth, twenty third. Okay, twenty third. Next Saturday, Pam's actually going to be here. She's going to unveil her new line of BG juice. Um, I've had a few of these, like anything else, a few in there that <coughs> like. They were all good juices. Um, the cheesecake in particular. Ever since we dropped Dragon's Den, mm -hmm. we hadn't had a really good just straight cheesecake in cheesecake. here. I got to tell you, hers is on point it's phenomenal especially for a 9010 juice the flavor comes through is it's really really nice and then her french toast that she's got in there is going to be unlike a french toast you've had before it's got a lot of kind of maple syrup notes in it i'm excited um, to try them like the uh i burnt myself out on the sagittarius that was yeah called. sagittarius I just vaped so much of that's it a really good juice on the same oh, yeah. way i just get sick of it after a while so I'm, I'm really excited to try Pam's Cheesecake and the French Toast also because I've tried to make some syrupy type vapes. And just like chocolate, you can so easy put just a drop too much and yep. fuck up a whole bottle. So um, I'm really excited to try that one. So I'll tell you what, on the uh, Nomadic Winds, mm -hmm. first person can tell us uh, what town David Slay lives in. It's a good one. Yeah. Well, I actually had to think about it for you a second. You mentioned it a couple times. Yeah. So 120 mils Nomadic Winds and a three. Yeah, that's okay. right. <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't 100% on that. 
Anyway. So, nomadic winds, so whoever can tell us where Davis is. I'm make a note on it when we figure this out here. I don't know how long All it right. is. We Bam. Got Allie Lowe. Allie Lowe. Good deal. Congratulations, Allie. We'll get that sent out to you. Well, not we. Honestly, Lisa will get it sent out to you because I'm pretty lazy. That's what Lisa does. With. And she's yep. real good at it. Man, she's got her, since we've moved here, because you know, we were doing our online store for a while. We were mm-hmm. moving place to place. And I could see that, that was a real pain for her and for me. When we got here, she totally took that <coughs> over. When I say orders go out pronto, mm-hmm. you make an order, Lisa puts it. If it's before 3 in the afternoon, she puts it in a box and sends it to you, period. A L L I E L O W E. Yep. If y'all will, uh, PM me your address, um, Adam Miller, Alley Low so far. Um, and we still got a couple more things to give away. We still do. We've got a couple of shirts. But I'm not going to let Colby one. Russell win anything. Right. He wins everything. Yeah, Colby can't win, especially this last day. Yeah, I hear you. Um, yeah. All right, so I want to talk about Dora the Explorer. Yeah, you were telling me about this. Because I didn't get the whole story because we kind of had to run it here. And, you know, I'm kind of torn on whether or not it was the right thing to do. And so I'm kind of going to poll you guys on what you think. This is the ad. And this girl right here, her name is, I can barely pronounce it. It's P-A-T-A-C-E-K. So what's that? Patex? Uh, Fatima Pacek. Pacek is what I'm going with. Fatima Pacek. So she is, she is and has always been the voice for Dora the Explorer. What about Swiper? Uh, no, not Swiper. She is Dora. And, and what I think is really, really cool about that, let me switch over to the scene so people can see her. Um, and so that's her standing next to Dora. She has been suspended from school for vaping with a buddy. How old is she? Now, she's 15. Oh, well, that's a problem. Right, it is a problem. They said because of who she is and her fame and all that stuff, that the only reason they didn't expel her is because of kind of who she is and how high profile she is. So what do you guys think? Dora the Explorer, suspended from high school for vaping at school. Um, kind of pull the crowd on that. Because I think, I don't know, I'm torn on it. You know, is it a suspension? I'm, I'm really not, man. I think that's, I think I suspension mean, is appropriate. I mean, what's, time, a, what's a suspension? Usually, I mean, I've been suspended God knows how many times. So usually three days. Yeah. I mean, I think the, I really think the punishment fits crime there. I think expelling her for that. I've ever said they would expel they her They said they would have expelled her. That's out there, man. No, that's that's pretty out there, dude. Um, I look at it like that, this. First time I got drunk was in the seventh grade. In the gym, during school hours, so vaping. I guess we just led a different life. It's man. just a different <laughs> world now. So yeah, you know, I think a suspension is appropriate too. Expulsion, which is what they suggested. Eh, that I might think it's pretty harsh, fun. man. I think, in my opinion, now I'll just say expulsion across the board. I, I think that's got to be a pretty severe offense or a long, you know, history of offenses to actually expel a kid from school. It's re- and this is real dangerous because a situation like this brings to light. This whole minor vaping thing, this whole vaping and vape, the vape industry catering to minors, and I think this brings some uh, some validity to that argument. And this will get exposure. I mean, no doubt. This is dude, Huffington that, Post. How many people read this? I mean, uh, it's the fact is, as much as we like to, you know, say we don't let minors in and do this and that, there is a lot of. I'm not gonna say a lot. I don't know an exact number. I'm not even gonna throw a statistic out there because 47 percent of statistics are made up on the spot, <laughs> including that one. Yeah, exactly. When I say that, I say 67. There you go. So anyway, you can tell there's a lot of kids that are out there that try to vape, just like there's a lot of kids that start smoking when they're 12. You know what I mean? Because they come up here to the shop all the time, and they'll now they come to the store, look at the door, see it says no minors, you're gonna be carding this, kind of walk away. But that was an issue when we first opened. There was a lot of kids that were 15, 16 that would try to come up here and buy. So, is it a thing with kids? Yeah. So so is marijuana. But what is your opinion on the fact that she is a vapor at 15? Because that's a can of worms right there. Well, I, I'll tell you exactly how I feel about it. I want to know. That is between her and her parents and I how agree. they feel about life. You I know agree. what I mean? I, I'm not on something like that right there. There's some things that are just morally wrong and kids shouldn't do. And I don't care what their parents say. Their parents are just going to be wrong about things. Mm-hmm. This is one right here that you've really got to make a call as a parent. Mm-hmm. When a kid's 15, 16, 17, 18 years old, especially when you get up to like 17, 18, that's a call that... A parent's gonna have to make, and yeah. and I'll, I'll be damned if I'm gonna be the one to judge somebody else's parenting skills. So, just to be honest, you know. With you. I, so I'm gonna ask the question because I'm I'm gonna answer the question too. So say one of your daughters started smoking, okay? I know it would come with a hell of an ass beating, but one of them decided I'm gonna smoke. I started when I was 11. 
Okay? Um, I wish I would have had vaping then. But say one of your daughters started smoking. What would you do? You know, other than the, the normal punishment that come with it. I hate to answer hypothetical know, because every time I answer one and it comes true, I always yeah. do something different. Yeah. Um, you know, would you guide her to vaping or would you try to beat the smoking out of her? You know, that's just kind of the only options you have. You know, I don't know. It's I guess you could ask me that question about <laughs> a lot of things, and yeah. I just wouldn't have a good answer for you, Jamie. I, I think anybody I, as parents, especially. Uh, some of you that's older, I hope mama's watching. Maybe Pam, you've got some older children about my age. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you would say, looking back on it, when you were in your 30s, you said, yeah. I would do this. And then later when it happened, you probably did something different. Because I see that even my children, and my oldest daughter's only 12. Yeah. I mean, there's plenty of things I see. I was already do, smoking by then. It's just Pack a day by then. Thank and God I know. my children don't. Hell to hell you know with what it, I mean? You know? I'm just saying, it's just... That's a, such a subjective hypothetical I would have question. To, I would know? have to, if, if I knew they wasn't going to stop, if I couldn't get them to stop by for whatever means available without the fear of DHS being in my front door, um, I would probably have to guide them to vaping because at least it's not killing them. And I don't have an issue yeah. with when you say that, nothing, there's no hairs that stand oh, up on the back but of my neck. I think people, you're wrong. Yeah, but there's some people who, you know, say that is the most horrible, even child abuse to the point. But well, I think it would be a similar question do. if you said, you know, you had a daughter or whatever. How do you feel about a girl being on birth control when she's 14, 15? It's a very similar question. You know what I mean? I think they all um, should You be. pray to God they don't do something, but yeah. do you give them the tools to make sure if they do something that doesn't happen? And mm -hmm. does that promote them doing that? I mean, there's a lot of things to think about there. So on oh, back to your question. So tough. Um, I think it's just a, a question parents got to answer you for themselves. You just have to cross you know? that bridge when you exactly. got there. Exactly. And I mean, listen, there's no doubt that we have customers here. One in particular that I know buys for a 17-year-old son. Does he admit that to me? No. Um, but I know it happens. Yeah. And, and I'm fine with that, you know. And yeah. I, I don't know. I'll have to see when my children get 17. I don't Maybe. know that I would have a problem with them vaping. Yeah. Um, I would like to see vaping continue to be something that helps people quit something they're addicted to and not something people start being addicted to, mm -hmm. but it's the way the world is. You Absolutely. know what I mean? People are going to find something to do with their time that's maybe not always the best. And vaping, I think, is a, to I me, I'm not a doctor, no is a very, very healthy thing for me. It's I not mean, something that I mean, cuts my, into my lifestyle and, and, and my, messes things up for me. My doctor, you know, that lady Tiff that you let charge up here, exactly. her, her doctor, um, you know, since everybody's quit smoking, all the, our doctors, her doctors, everybody says, I have no problem with this. Every doctor or general practitioner from anybody I know that vapes says they have no problem. I got to tell you, I have never heard, and once again, I'm not a doctor, so don't take me as a professional. I have never heard anyone make a legitimate case. Um, against the health of this product absolutely i've heard a lot of propaganda i've heard a lot of a lot of, a, a, lot of yeah, a lot of bullshit a lot of truth stretching a lot of exaggeration i've never heard anybody make a legitimate case mm -hmm. for the harms of vaping. Mm -hmm. i hadn't absolutely done it not. um and if y'all have please point me that direction i'd like to see it um yeah because you know there, there's there's arsenic in here you know there's arsenic in here I heard you. I just didn't know if I should lend any <laughs> well, credibility you know, to you by looking you know, at you. But no, I, I'm going to tell you, I, this is absolutely true, but guess what? If you take a breath without this, there's arsenic in that too. And I'm, I'm going to reference a German indoor air quality test where they was testing, I don't know what the three scare chemicals were before diacetyl and, the, and whatever that other one is, but it was arsenic, formaldehyde, and some other chemical. Okay. Now, OSHA sets a certain level of acceptability or regulations of parts per million of what's safe to be in the air. Exactly. It was literally over 800 times less than the standard that OSHA sets. So negligible, right? It's in the air around you and yeah, maybe a little of it in the air around you comes through this. But in no way, according to OSHA standards, like 700 times lower than what they recommend as a safe consumption. 700 times lower. So again, it's just it's just buzzwords, it's propaganda, it's anything the other side, whatever the fuck that is, can say or will exactly. say I just to demonize it. I mean, you can see that even with yep. just politics in general. So I'll tell you what, going back to what we were talking about for Vaporize Nomad's shirt, mm -hmm. the girl that we were talking about who got suspended from school, 
she was a voice on a show. Yeah. What was the fox's name on that show? No, no, no I don't want to do that. It's Come too on. easy. It's We're too giving away two easy. shirts. Too, that's you can too do the next. Easy. You can do the next oh, question. I'm letting them do this one. I already stated that's it. Come on. Too damn What's easy. the fox's name on the show? And, See who and, pops and, up and, and what is it. his line? What is his line? Oh no! What is her line? What is her line when he comes on? That's right. Swiper, Jordan, you got the swiper. Got to get the whole thing. Got to get the line and the line that Dora says when you see him. Come on, see, Jordan. Dancing, Come Jordan. on, Jordan. Make it good. Ba, 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 ba. All right. And now, but he see, he didn't say the well, name. Well, it was already out there. Who's Sweller Vapes? Sweller Vapes could have your name. Yeah, who is Sweller Vapes? That's a new name for me. I don't think I've ever seen that name in chat. Sweller Vapes, Sweller Vapes, Sweller Vapes. Come on. Sweller Vapes. Like how Michael Silas says, Swiper, most swiping. That's the dude that lives in my backyard. Oh, sweet. Yep. Garrett. Him one time. Garrett. All Garrett, right. if you will, um, you can either do this on YouTube or Facebook. I'm assuming you're on a Facebook page if you're here, but I don't know. Vaporize Nomads, uh, closed group Facebook page, or just hit me up on there. Adam Miller on Facebook. Not the other Adam Millers in that chat, because that's going to get you really messed up. Uh, give me your address and where you want your shirt sent to and what size you want. What that's kind of yep. important. Um, I'll tell you what. Why don't you throw a question out there? We'll give one more shirt away because we're getting pretty close to the end here. I have to have the exact, exactly correct spelling. Okay. What is her full name? Dora. The actual, actual name. actual voice. The voice of Dora? actor's name who does Dora. Okay. Oh man, that's, that's uh, uh, see, you know, at least somebody's gonna have to fucking go. To somebody's Google gonna now. have to go. Yeah. Somebody's I, going to I, Google. I just read it like three times. And I, I couldn't. I would have to look at the screen right now. That's. I gotta get so, chat yeah. back up. Where's chat? Where'd we'll it go? It. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at Chuck. What the hell? That dude just spit it right out. The Chuck threw it out there. Well Chuck Fuck, obviously he can just pick here straight up, I guess. Was Chuck pretty local? Not no, local. no, he's in Slidell, Louisiana. Uh Chuck, hit me with your address, shirt size, brother. And uh God, that was that guy was fast. That was quick. Like that was I unbelievable. Even, I I would be expecting the delay to have just hit by the time he answered that. If, Blown away. I got to tell you, if we had had that question prepared, I would have thought that Becca told him the answer. That question was not prepared in any way. No. None of these questions have been. That was phenomenal. Becca's got his address. XL and Becca has the address. I do. She's going to take so care of it. So now the big one. If you will, just get that at Lisa. Thank you, the ma'am. The big one. So how the do we give one. away $160 worth of prize here? And we need something really good for this. I don't know. I gotta tell you, um, that's a hard one, man. Yeah, that is a hard one. I got an idea. This is a good one, though. I've actually got a really good one. Uh, I got here's a, a stellar time. roll with it, hey, man. I gotta, I gotta okay, guys. JC will be back in a minute. Um, what he's talking about right now, we're gonna get away the RX 200. I'm sure y'all seen one of these. I'm gonna pull it out anyway. It does have the new updated software. So it's actually RX 250. <laughs> um, Sure, not gonna change the name, but I'm gonna call it the RX250 just for advertising purposes. And the Lotus Legend Mini, which pretty much everybody in this area raves about, phenomenal freaking flavor. If Lotus has ever got anything right, it was this right here. Um, for those of y'all that didn't hear it the first of the show, I'm gonna go back and tell you real quick um, something with Lotus. If you use a Lotus jellyfish and use the charger for it, please do not plug that into other devices. I almost destroyed my DX200 today doing that because it's got nine volts of output. What's up, JC? How many juices are on the flavor bar? On my flavor bar? Yes. Okay, I'll tell you what, you got to work for this one. You got to work for Steven this one. Stephen Burns, Lisa Miller, you do not qualify. What how did you actually many... come up with? Okay. How many juices are up that anybody can walk in this store and taste today? I'll tell you it's what. Take a minute. And you can guess you're, more than yeah, once. Yeah, you're just going to have to. People are just going to take a stab at this one. Good God. What the fuck? What the fuck? Kobe, you had to have no. fucking cheated. There's no way. He's killing me, dude. I mean, like I said, he the, the delay. And look how close there. Corey Evans was. No, I mean, I mean, it's already over, guys. How the hell did Kobe Russell? He Corey, must have counted If you day. don't give your old RX to somebody, I'm going to choke you with my bare hands, man. <laughs> you talking about Corey? Col Kobe. Kobe, that's who I'm talking about. Right. Now, Corey was right below him with 96. Yep. But Kobe got it. Unbelievable. Good deal, man. I'm, I'm blown away. He must have counted him today or something. You think there's Kobe, there's please there's type in how you knew You could have heard me whisper that. You think there's any way? No, because nobody else would have heard it. Somebody else would have threw it out there. I heard you. 
Michael Sutter said he heard you. Michael Sutter said he heard you. Yeah, but he'd be fucking with me. Man, Damn. that is crazy. That's unbelievable. That is crazy. I mean, crazy. throughout 94, literally by the time Okay, the Colby. Hit. All right, Colby. I said earlier you couldn't win, but he won. Okay. I'm, I'm shocked. I made Colby, if you away. don't give away your old RX to somebody that needs it, I'm going to do nothing, but I'm going to be really sad. Well, guys, but that's anyway. the hour. Guys, we appreciate it's you a watching. Fun fucking show. I man. just feel like Colby cheated, man. I, I'm not. I'm did, not convinced that he didn't cheat on that did, somehow. Did you count the bottles recently? Because I know you're in here a lot. I just wanted. He was literally in here this afternoon. I guarantee you walked out there counting them because he is one of those guys. He's a numbers guy. I'm pretty sure he counted the damn things this afternoon. That was sick. I, I, I should have asked the question away. I was going to ask. What was your question? Um, I was actually going to ask what song did the Vaporize Nomads group come from the actual okay. title vapor then no what mask. i'll do is i'll give another 120 mil bottle of canal from me to whoever does have that answer 120 mil canel. bottle canal yep whatever nick you like what song did vaporize the vaporized nomads. nomads come from the actual name vaporized see nomads. i don't know the name of the song but i know the name of the band oh man come on you gotta have the name of the song if david slays here you know he's got it star shadow probably has it so we're gonna wait till whoever answers that question. Oh, what's on it? Write it down so nobody can hear it. I was about to say. Put all the pen in here, some kind of screw right on that. Right there. Oh, sure. Bam, Christina. Christina. Yeah, I knew it was a Metallica yep, song. Yeah, she's I one of the original one. Nomads. She would know that. Christina, love you, girl. Glad you got that. And she, oh, lo and she loves Canel. She loves. She, she's a she's a fan of your juices, man. <laughs> God, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Christina is a fan of my juices. I did not mean it like that. You know, it, it definitely it like sounded that, that way, oh though. Oh, my God. It definitely sounded oh, that way. She's a sweetheart, no man. Oh, I love her to death. She's helped us with this podcast so much in getting it set up. Yeah, everybody. Today was Star Shadow. Uh, Thomas, actually, we just weigh him down. He's usually high. He doesn't know what we're doing, but he at least tells us we can hear us or not. Yeah. So, anyway. I wish Mike Zombro was on. I know he's working hard. Yeah, he's up in New York or something. Debbie he? Gilliland. Oh, yeah. He's in New York working his ass off. Um, Debbie Gilliland, appreciate everything you do for advocacy, honey. We purposefully didn't talk about a lot of advocacy tonight because we feel like we've just been pushing on people it's pretty hard. It's been a lot lately. Um, so, anyway, thank you all for all you do. Thank you all for being here. We always enjoy doing this so much. We really, really appreciate you watching. Tell me about it. This show wait. gets a little more fun every single week. It does. I, you know, I kind of felt like the advocacy thing, although it was needed, it just kind of, when I watched it back, seemed a little boring. And I think we got to keep doing that. But At the right time. But, you know, maybe not whole yeah. shows. And me and Jamie have been talking about doing more of a formatted yeah. show where we do 15 minutes something, 10 minutes something, whatever. So see, we, we actually did write. This is the we first time we've some, ever wrote notes. We wrote you some can't shit see down. Out, I can't see it in the light. Anyway. Anyway, that's it. Hey, like we always say. Hey, peace out, nomads. See, you didn't wait on the goddamn fog to quit. What? <laughs> That's actually really good, isn't it? <laughs>